Welcome to this video where I want to talk about the delta open corner test. Now the delta open corner test is something I would do when I'm, I'm connecting a three phase source in a delta connection. Uh, so I've got here the secondary of a three phase transformer or three single phase transformers. I'm gonna connect them in delta. Now we know that delta connection is A to B, B to C, C to A. Um, so what I wanna do, right, of course, I'm gonna connect A to B. I'm gonna go B to C and C to A. That's what my connection would look like. So right before I make this connection here, this final connection, or any one of these connections, I want to take a meter reading. So I'm gonna take a meter reading right here at this open corner. Now, what am I looking at? Well, when I read here, I would be reading C to A, A to B, B to C. So I'd be looking for that voltage reading, right? Voltage equals V, C to A, plus V, A to B, plus V, B to C. Now we know in a properly connected circuit, right? V, C to A would be up here at 120. V, A to B would be here at zero. V, B to C would be here at 240 degrees. When I add all that up, I get an HV chart. It would look something like this. And what we notice is that we get zero volts. So we would say zero volts is a proper connection. That's a good connection. That's what we want to see. Now, the question comes up is what would happen if one of these we had wired accidentally backwards? So maybe instead of it being B to C, I actually had C to B down here. Okay, well, how would that look? Well, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go the voltage equals V C to A plus V A to B plus V C to B now to complete that closed loop through my delta. Okay, C to A is the same, A to B is the same, but where does V, B to C, or C to B lie? Well, B to C is here at 240. That means V, C to B would be up here at 60 degrees. So when I put that together into my chart, what do I get? Right now, of course, this is all assuming that I'm using that 240 volts that you see here in the example, and we are using 240, and what are we seeing? We're seeing it actually equals 480 volts. Now, that's consistent throughout. If I do it incorrectly, I'm gonna get double the voltage on an incorrectly connected delta connection. So that's just a test that you would do when I'm gonna energize the secondary of that transformer. I double check. If it's a proper connection, I see that zero volts. If it's an incorrect connection, whatever my source voltage is or my rated voltage is, I'm gonna see double that. I hope this video helps. Make sure you check out the links in the description below where I have links to a bunch of other delta-related and three-phase-related videos. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a great day.